Next up is a question from Ron. Uh, and Ron says, uh, in uh, string theory, we consider space times with extra dimensions beyond the ones we're familiar with. Are there other types of theories that also explore extra dimensions and do you see value in them? Yes, well, the idea of extra dimensions is actually much older than string theory. It goes back to 1921 to a German theorist, Theodor Kaluza, uh, who was trying to unify gravitation and electromagnetism. And he invented a fifth dimension. Uh, he was just playing with algebra, actually. The first person who uh, seriously supposed that there is a fifth dimension uh, was a Swedish theorist, Oscar Klein, a few years after Kaluza. And his idea was that the fifth dimension is tightly rolled up. And it, to the inhabitants of this five-dimensional world, it seems four-dimensional. Uh, that fifth, the, uh, the analogy is with a soda straw. A soda straw is two dimensions, it's made out of a sheet of paper, but it's so tightly rolled up that if you hold it at a distance, it looks like a one dimensional line. And um, that was the idea. And people have been playing with this idea um, for many decades, long before string theory. String theory, made it necessary. In string theory, string theories are naturally formulated in 10 space-time dimensions. So there are six dimensions rolled up like Klein's soda straw. Uh, but, uh, you know, string theory is enormously attractive and uh, many theoretical physicists have spent their working lives on it. And I don't think that's a mistake because you know, I was talking about that problem of what's going on 15 or 18 orders of magnitude above the proton mass. The best candidate we have for a theory of what's going on at those scales is string theory. Um, I've proposed an alternative theory called asymptotic safety, which is not as interesting or as promising, I think, as string theory, it's just an alternative. But, um, String theory has had no experimental successes. As you say, it relies on extra dimensions.